cries aloud. Thanks be to God. Cries aloud. Lord, thanks be to God. We will now light our candles from the main candle. Pass on the light. There are places in front also. Those are behind. There are places in front. There are plenty of places in front. You can come in front. Christ our line, thanks be to God. There are places on top also. There are places on top also. Those who 
are standing, you will be tired. The service is long, so you can go up as well. And here in the front, there are some more places. Some more places is here in the front, also those who are behind. You will be tired standing the whole time. Rejoice, heavenly powers, sing choirs of angels, exalt all you creation around God's throne. Jesus Christ, our King, is risen. Sound the trumpet of salvation. Rejoice, O earth, in shining splendor, radiant in the brightness of your King. Christ has conquered, glory fails you. Darkness vanishes forever. Rejoice, O Mother Church, exult in glory. The risen Savior shines upon you. Let this place resound with you, echoing the mighty song of all God's people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that with full hearts and minds and voices we should praise the unseen God, the all-powerful Father and His only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for Christ has ransomed us with his blood and paid for us the price of Adam's sin to our eternal Father. This is our Passover feast. When Christ, the true Lamb, is slain, whose blood consecrates the homes of all believers, this is the night when first you saved our fathers, you freed the people of Israel from their slavery, and let them dry shot through the sea. This is the night when Christ, when Christians everywhere wash clean of sin and freed from all defile men are restored to grace and grow together in holiness. This is the night when Jesus Christ broke the chains of death and rose triumphant from the grave. Father, how wonderful you care for us. How boundless your merciful love to ransom a slave you gave away your only begotten Son. Oh, happy fault, O oh, necessary sin of Adam, which gained for us 
so great a redeemer. The power of this holy night dispels all evil, washes guilt away, restores lost innocence, brings mourners joy. Night truly blessed when heaven is wedded to earth and man is reconciled with God. Therefore, Heavenly Father, in the joy of this night, receive our evening sacrifice of praise, your church's solemn offering. Accept this Easter candle, may it always dispel the darkness of this night. May the morning star, which never sets, find this flame still burning, Christ the morning star, who came back from the dead and shed his peaceful light on all mankind. Your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Now we will all sit down. We will put off our candle and we will listen to the readings. The second part of our liturgy today, the liturgy of the word. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was a formless void. There was darkness over the deep, and God's spirit hovered over the water. God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that light was good, and God divided light from darkness. God called light day, and darkness he called night. Evening came, and morning came the first day. God said, let there be a vault in the waters to divide the waters into, and so it was. God made the vault, and it divided the waters above the vault from the waters under the vault. God called the vault heaven. Evening came and morning came the second day. God said, let the waters under heaven come together into a single mass and let dry land appear. And so it was. God called the dry land earth and the mass of waters cease. And God saw that it was good. God said, let the earth produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants, and fruit trees bearing fruit, with their seeds inside on the earth. And so it was. The earth produced vegetation, plants bearing seeds in their several kinds, and trees bearing fruit with their seed inside in their several kinds. God saw that it was good. Evening came and morning came the third day. God said, let there be lights in the vault of heaven to divide day from night, and let them indicate festivals, days, and years. Let them be lights in the vault of heaven to shine on the earth. And so it was. God made the two great lights, the greater light to govern the day, the smaller light to govern the night and the stars. God set them in the vault of heaven to shine on the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to divide light from darkness. God saw that it was good. Evening came and morning came the fourth day. God said, let the waters teem with living creatures and let birds fly above the earth. 
within the vault of heaven, and so it was. God created great sea serpents and every kind of living creature with which the water is steam. And every kind of winged creature, God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, multiply, and fill the waters of the seas, and let the birds multiply upon the earth. Evening came, and morning came, the fifth day. God said, Let the earth produce every kind of living creature, cattle, reptiles, and every kind of wild beasts. And so it was. God made every kind of wild beast, every kind of cattle, and every kind of land reptile. God saw that it was good. God said, Let us make man in our own image, in the likeness of ourselves. And let them be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of the heaven, the cattle, all the wild beasts, and all the reptiles that crawl upon the earth. God created man in the image of himself. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, and conquer it. Be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of the heaven, and all living animals on the earth. God said, See, I give you all the seed-bearing plants that are upon the whole, the whole earth, and all the trees and seed-bearing fruit. This shall be your food to all wild beasts, all birds of heaven, and all living reptiles on the earth. I give all the foliage of plants for food. And so it was. God saw all he had made, and indeed it was very good. Evening came, and morning came, the sixth day. Thus, heaven and earth were completed with all their array. On the seventh day, God completed the work he had been doing. He rested on the seventh day after all the work he had been doing. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your response be. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Spirit, O oh Lord, and renew the face of the earth. You founded the earth on its base to stand firm from age to age. You wrapped it with the ocean like a cloak. The word has stood higher than the mountains. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valley. They flow in between the hills. On their banks dwell the bird 
gates of heaven from the branches they sing their song send forth your spirit O Lord and renew the face of the earth from your dwelling dreams it's filled of your gift you make the grass grow for the cattle and the plants to serve man's needs send forth your spirit O oh Lord and renew of the earth. How many are your words, O oh Lord? In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. Bless the Lord, my soul. Send forth your spirit, O oh Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Please rise. Let us pray. Father in heaven, the creation of man was a wonderful work and still more wonderful his redemption. Help all of us to persevere faithful to you against all that entices, all that entices us to sin and so attain everlasting joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. We will listen to another reading. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me so? Tell the sons of Israel to march on. For yourself, raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and part it for the sons of Israel to walk through the sea on dry ground. I, for my part, will make the heart of the Egyptians so stubborn that they will follow them. So shall I win myself glory at the expense of the Pharaoh, of all his army, his chariots, his horsemen. And when I have won glory for myself at the expense of Pharaoh and his chariots and his army, the Egyptians will learn that I am the Lord. Then the angel of the Lord, who marched at the front of the army of Israel, changed station and moved to the rear. The pillar of cloud changed station from the front to the rear of them and remained there. It came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. The cloud was dark and the night passed. Without the armies drawing any closer the whole night long, Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord drew back the sea with a strong easterly wind all night, and he made dry land of the sea. The water parted, and the sons of Israel went on dry ground right into the sea, walls of water to right and to left of them. The Egyptians gave chase. After them, they went right into the sea, all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. In the morning watch, the Lord looked down on the army of the Egyptians from the pillar of fire and of cloud and threw the army into confusion. He so clogged 
their chariot wheels that they could scarcely make headway. Let us free from the Israelites, the Egyptians cried. The Lord is fighting for them against the Egyptians. Stretch out your hands over the sea, the Lord said to Moses, that the waters may flow back on the Egyptians and the chariots and their horsemen. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and as they broke, the sea returned to its bed. The fleeing Egyptians marched right into the sea, right into it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the very middle of the sea. The returning waters overwhelmed the chariots and the horsemen of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them was left, but the sons of Israel had marched through the sea on dry ground, walls of water to right and to left of them. That day, the Lord rescued Israel from the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the shore. Israel witnessed the great act that the Lord had performed against the Egyptians, and the people venerated the Lord. They put their faith in the Lord and in Moses, his servant. It was then that Moses and the sons of Israel sang the song in honor of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Let your response be. I will sing to the Lord, glorious His triumph. I will sing to the Lord, glorious His triumph. I will sing to the Lord, glorious His triumph. Horse and rider He has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength, my song, my salvation. This is my God and I extol Him. My Father's God, and I give Him praise. I will sing to the Lord, glorious His triumph. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is His name. The chariots of Pharaoh He hurled into the sea. The flower of his enemy is drowned in the sea. The deeps hide them, they sank like a stone. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. Your right hand, Lord, glorious in its power. Your right hand, Lord, has shattered the enemy. In the greatness of your glory, you crush the foe. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. You will lead them and plant them on your mountain. The place, O Lord, where you have made your home, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands have made. The Lord will reign forever and ever. I will sing to the Lord, glorious is triumph. Hello, please rise. Let us pray. Father, the new covenant your son came to establish throws light on the wonders you work in favor of your people Israel. 
The crossing of the Red Sea is a symbol of our baptism. And the people you freed from slavery is a sign of your Christian people. Let every nation become a part of this new Israel by the new birth in the Spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. I request uh, Paul, please wish on this to light with the remote. Please wish on these two lights with your remote. The reading. Isaiah chapter 15, verse 1 to 11. Thus says the Lord, Oh, come to the water, all you who are thirsty. Though you have no money, come, buy corn without money and eat, and at no cost wine and milk. Why spend money on what is not bread, your wages on what fails to satisfy? Listen, listen to me, and you will have good things to eat and rich food to enjoy. Be attention, come to me. Listen, and your soul will live. With you, I will make an everlasting covenant out of the favors promised to David. See, I have made of you a witness to the peoples, a leader and a master of the nations. See, you will summon a nation you never knew. Those unknown will come hurrying to you. For the sake of the Lord your God, of the Holy One of Israel, who will glorify you. Seek the Lord while he is still to be found. Call to him while he is still near. Let the wicked man abandon his ways, the evil man his thoughts. Let him turn back to the Lord who will take pity on him, to a God who is rich in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, my ways not your ways. It is the Lord who speaks. Yes, the heavens are as high above the earth as my ways are above your ways. My thoughts above your thoughts. Yes, as the rain and the snow come down from the heavens and do not return without watering the earth, making it yield and giving growth to provide seed for the sower and bread for the eating. So the word that goes from my mouth does not return to me empty without carrying out my will and succeeding in what it was sent to do. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Let your response be. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Truly God is my salvation. I trust I shall not fear, for the Lord is my strength, my song. He became my Savior. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, give praise to His name, make His mighty deeds known to the peoples, declare the greatness of His name. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Sing a psalm 
to the Lord, for He has done glorious deeds, make them known to all the earth. People of Zion, sing and shout for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Please rise. Let us pray. Father, you are the hope of the world. What we are celebrating tonight was announced by your prophets. Help us to be your faithful people, since only through your help can we grow in holiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. We shall listen to the last reading from the Old. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord was addressed to me as follows. Son of man, the members of the house of Israel used to live in their own land, but they defiled it by their conduct and actions. I then discharged my fury at them because of the blood they shed in their land and the idols with which they defiled it. I scattered them among the nations and dispersed them in foreign countries. I sentenced them as their conduct and actions deserved. And now they have profaned my holy name among the nations where they have gone, so that people say of them, these are the people of the Lord. They have been exiled from his land. But I have been concerned about my holy name, which the house of Israel has profaned among the nations where they have gone. And so, say to the house of Israel, the Lord says this, I am not doing this for your sake, house of Israel, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations where you have gone. I mean to display the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, which you have profaned among them. And the nations will learn that I am the Lord. It is the Lord who speaks when I display my holiness for your sake before their eyes. Then I am going to take you from among the nations and gather you together from all the foreign countries and bring you home to your own land. I shall pour clean water over you and you will be cleansed. I shall cleanse you of all your defilement and all your idols. I shall give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I shall remove the heart of stone from your bodies and give you a heart of flesh instead. I shall put my spirit in you and make you keep my laws and sincerely respect my observance. You will live in the land which I give your ancestors. You shall be my people and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your response be. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, 
So my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. These things will I remember as I pour out my soul. How I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving. The throne world with joy Like the deer That yearns for running streams So my soul is yearning for you, my God O oh, send forth your light and your truth Let this be my God let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. Let us pray. Father in heaven, your power never diminishes, neither does your light grow dim. Bring salvation to all people. Let the fallen be lifted up, the old made new, and all things brought to perfection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now we shall sing the Gloria. Hey, 
intentions. I know many of us are anxious. Our young people are anxious. They have completed their exams and they are waiting for the results. The parents are anxious as well. All of us are worried about so many things. We pray for our own family members, for those who are sick at home. We pray for the soul of Gautam Joseph Kakoti. And the Lord may grant him eternal rest. And for all Anya and their ones who have gone before us, may they rise with Christ on this Easter day. Father, you have brightened this night with the radiance of the risen Christ. Let all Christians feel ever more intensely that they are your children. Renew us in mind and body. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. He lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. Let's be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Christians of Rome. You have been taught that when we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized in his death. In other words, when we were baptized, we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death. So that as Christ was raised from the dead, by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. If in union with Christ we have imitated his death, we shall also imitate him in the resurrection. We must realize that our former selves have been crucified with him to destroy the sinful body and to free us from the slavery of sin. When a man dies, of course, he has finished with sin. But we believe that having died with Christ, we shall return to life with him. Christ, as we know, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him anymore. When he died, he died once for all to sin. So his life now is life with God. And in that way, you too must consider yourself to be dead into sin, but alive for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. always Alleluia Alleluia Christ has risen from the dead He has risen to die no more As a dawn of Easter morning when the 
According to Saint Mark, glory, glory to you, O Lord. When the Sabbath was over, Mary of Magdala, Mary the mother of James and Salome brought spices with which to go and anoint him. And very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, they went to the tomb, just as the sun was rising. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? But when they looked they could see that the stone, which was very big, had already been rolled back. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man in a white robe seated on the right-hand side, and they were struck with amazement. But he said to them, There is no need for alarm. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See, here is the place where they laid him. But you must go and tell his disciples and Peter. He is going before you to Galilee. It is there you will see him, just as he told you. And the women came out and ran away from the tomb because they were frightened out of their wits. And they said nothing to a soul, for they were afraid. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to Lord Jesus Christ. So, happy Easter to everyone. I think it is not sinful you shake hands with your friends who are sitting next to you and say, Happy Easter. And uh, for me, Happy Easter. I have not reached anybody's hand, so Happy Easter to all of you. Yes, we have been preparing for this day for more than 40 days. And I think it is worth it wishing each other Happy Feast Day. But I'm a little bit sad because yesterday when Father Primus celebrated the liturgy, I saw people up there. And when I celebrate the Mass, I, the, the, the service today, only very few. So this reminds me of a story about, uh, uh, not a story, in fact, it, it happened to me in 2019, just before the coronavirus. Um, 
for those of you who love movies, you remember in 2019, there was one beautiful movie that was released. You remember what was that movie? It's good, that means you don't watch movie, which means you are reading the word of God. Very good. I was watching a movie called The Spider-Man. The Spider-Man Far From Home. It was released in 2019. And uh, of course, there were brothers with me here. I took the brothers and we went to watch this movie. And you know, the movie was really nice. It was really wonderful, but I slept off most of the time. Uh, and uh, you remember towards the end of the movie, you have not watched, so you don't remember, so I will tell you. So towards the end of the movie, uh, we see this Spider-Man has conquered the enemies. And then as usual, you remember the movies. Uh, the actress will come, Mary Jane, I think her name, actress came, and then he hold her, and then he's a Spider-Man, so meow, one, two. In the whole city of Manhattan, he was uh, flying. And so I told the brothers, come, let us go, the movie is over. And all the three, four of us, we left. To my surprise, one man from the back up like this, sir, sit, sit, the movie is not yet over. And so we sat again. But there are many of them, like us, foolish fellows, they, they went away. And as we sat, because we were forced to sit down, there was the continuation, or rather the introduction for the next series, for the next season. And so, you will not understand the new season if you don't sit for that last part of the movie. So it was worth it sitting for the last part, the introduction for the next movie. Otherwise, we will not understand the movie that came after Spider-Man, Far From Home. I'm saying this because on Good Friday, all the churches are full. All the churches are full. Even Youth Center was still the third floor, it was full. Now, uh, I don't know, maybe other places it may be full. We pray to God that it may be full. But at least here it is not full. So what I'm trying to say is that those people are not willing to stay for that introduction. And I'm sure they will not understand what is coming next in the gospel. Because we miss the most important introduction for the new series. But thanks to you, my hand claps for you because you are all here for the introduction to the new season, the new series that is coming just after this. In the end is my beginning. Many, many scholars are here. The moment I say that, they will remember who said that. This is the words of a poem by T.S. Eliot, the part of his masterpiece called Four Quartets. No English scholars are here, no? So if I make a mistake, you raise your hand, no worry. So in the end is my beginning. The women who came to the tomb are told that they in turn must tell the disciples, First Peter, that they are to go to Galilee where Jesus is going and where they will see him. The disciples are to go back to the place where it all began. The end is only the beginning of a new story, an astonishing story. And that story, the unending story of Easter, will begin where the gospel began in Galilee. They will return to the beginning, but everything will be changed. Not the hills and the towns and the lake, all that will be the same. But the mysterious messenger, which we read in today's gospel, in white robe, says that they will see Jesus there. It's their seeing of the risen Lord, which will be changed forever. That is resurrection for them, 
that is Easter. They will see everything differently once they see him. They will have an Easter eyes, a new kind of vision, the kind of vision we find in the gospel. And what is the core message of the gospel? Love. Brothers and sisters, go back to Galilee. If you want to meet Jesus, go back to Galilee. Go back to the beginning of your gospel. Go back to love. For so many years now, your relationship might have been broken. Your business is struggling. Your interest is in achieving your goal is weakened. You lost friends. Go back to Galilee. Go back to your beginning. Go back to your gospel. Go back to love. Today, the messenger in white robe, as we have read in the gospel, he told the women, and that messenger dressed in white robe is telling each one of us, he is telling me, Father Macri, go back to Galilee. Go back to your love. Go back to the place where you fall in love with your vocation. To the husbands who are here and the wives as well, the message is clear. Go back to Galilee. Go back to the place where you both fall in love, fell in love, and relive. Anyway, forgiveness was at that time very, very easy. Now it's still a bit difficult. So the messenger is telling you, go back to that beginning of your love story. Go back to the time where you both fell in love. Young people who are here, some of you are dejected and sad. Some of you are worried. The angel, not the angel, the messenger dressed in white robe is telling you today, go back to Galilee. Go, be in love with your passion for life. It's not me who said. It's the, it's the angel, the messenger dressed in white robe. You know, it is very, very sad that many of us are still up high on Calvary. High on Calvary. High on drugs. High on many other evil things. Dear friends, I would like to tell you, do not remain on there. It is a place of pain. It is a place of suffering. Therefore, go down to Galilee. Go back to your love. Go to your parents. Go to your roots. Go to your beginning. The women went to the tomb hoping to see Jesus, to see a dead body. But the promise now is that the, that the disciples and all of us in returning to Galilee, the beginning, we will not see a dead body, but the body of one who is risen. The women came to the tomb wondering who will roll away the big stone sealing the entrance of the tomb. The thoughts of the tomb sealed and the stone must have seemed like a big full stop, the end of life, the death of hope. But the gospel tells us to their amazement, the stone has already been rolled away when they arrive. By whom? We were not told. I'm not sure any Bible scholars here who discover 
that who rolled away the stone? The Bible has not mentioned any place. We don't know who rolled the stone. But even more amazing is the promise that the stone will be rolled away from the eyes of the disciples when they will see him risen in Galilee. Not as they saw him by the lake in the beginning of their encounter with him, nor as a ghost. He'll now be a different form. Yes, my brothers and sisters, by going back to Galilee, we should experience total change. Not anymore a drunk husband. Not anymore a nagging wife. Not anymore problematic children. And not anymore troubled uh, and wicked siblings. If you go back to Galilee, to your roots, you will experience true resurrection. And that is the message of the angel of the, not the angel of the messenger, dressed in white robe. No one uh, saw the event of the resurrection. In fact, this morning when we are trying to put up this, uh, I don't know, this um, depiction here of the resurrection, I told the brothers, let me check from the uh, YouTube, from internet, if we have a resurrection scene. We will play the film here and that will be fine. We don't need to struggle. I spent almost three hours searching in the internet to know exactly how the event of the resurrection took place, I never found. I never found. And that's why we have this thing here. Yes, even the Gospels gives us no hint of what actually happened during the resurrection. But for the Gospels, what matters is not so much the event of the resurrection, but the encounter which follows after that. The resurrection was an event. But what matters is not seeing the event, but seeing the risen Lord. And that's the promise made by the messenger. Today, as we gather here for the celebration of this event, brothers and sisters, I invite you not to only remember this event, this celebration that we have, but see the resurrected Christ in the person of your brothers and sisters sitting next to you. Mary Magdalene was one of the women, was the first one to declare it, and many others followed her. What was her declaration? I have seen the Lord. And this became, we have seen the Lord. And the church, ever since, has been a community of the unrighteous, of the imperfect, like Mary Magdalene. But of the unrighteous and the imperfect who have seen the Lord, the righteous will not see. It is the unrighteous who will see the Lord, like Mary Magdalene. So therefore, if you cannot see the Lord in the eyes of your brothers and sisters, of your children at home, then maybe you are too holy. Ask yourself. Because holy people will not see the Lord. It is people like Mary Magdalene who are full of mistakes. They will encounter the Lord. So ask yourself, have you seen the Lord? Maybe if you have not seen the Lord, then maybe you are too holy. And if not, Go back to the roots, as I said, and see your children, see your brothers and sisters, they are the resurrected Christ. In seeing the Lord, the disciples came to see everything differently. They see Jesus differently. He who had seemed a tragic failure now appears in astonishing victor. Jerusalem, which had seen the city of darkness and death, becomes a city of light and life. Galilee, which had been seen the place where hopes were first stirred, only to be dashed 
a place where so much was left behind for so little gain now becomes the place of encounter where the disciples see the Lord and their mission begins. So too, for each one of us, today, as we go back to our Galilee, when we encounter the resurrected Christ, your husband, your wife, our children, our siblings, our neighbors, and everyone, we should see them as God's creation, God's manifestation of his love. No more drunk husband, no more wicked children. They are God's creation, God's manifestation of his love. To conclude, yesterday I told you that I some sort of experienced some sort of a miracle. And as I was uh, list, uh, sitting for confession, um, I got a phone call from, uh, from my second family from uh, Philippines. And I tell you, it is like a miracle. Um, it's like this. Both of them, Sarah and her mother, called me at that time. That's why I was a little bit in tears. The reason was this. In 2020, when Sarah uh, got married, she moved away with her husband. So her mother was very, very sad. And me also was very, very sad because uh, she was not living anymore with the mother. And I thought maybe uh, me also gone. No? I'm no more like her brother because she was uh, already married. So no more help from her, no more phone calls. So I was a little bit upset also. And the worst was her parents and her mother was really very, very sad. Uh, she got married on 28th of February. And uh, the mother did not even attend the, the wedding. The wedding. Was, she was really very, very upset. And uh, since then, they were not in good terms. They will never face each other. They will never talk. Uh, the mother even deleted the mobile number of uh, her daughter. Can you imagine? That was the point. And so we were praying, praying for this almost uh, four years, four years and two months almost. I was praying for this intention and all of us were praying for this intention. And yesterday at around 11 o'clock, both of them called from the same place, from the same phone, crying, you know, crying for 15 minutes. And I also cried. So that was for me a biggest miracle. And as the UFC group were praying here, and as they were sharing the stories, and that even exactly happened for me there in my office. So that's why I said it is like a, a miracle that took place uh, yesterday as we were praying, as we were contemplating on the resurrection, on the, on, the, on the suffering of Jesus. So that was what I was telling you yesterday. So that's why I would like to say thank you, Lord, for this wonderful uh, miracles that happened to my extended family, not my real family, but my extended family. And thanks to the prayers of so many of, uh, of you, no, many of you. So that was what I was trying to tell you yesterday. And so, dear uh, friends, as we wish each other uh, happy Easter, the message of the liturgy today is this. Go back to Galilee. Go back to the place, to the beginning. Go back to the roots. Go back to where your love was really sincere. And then you will see everything will be changed. Like the disciples experience Jesus totally change when they see Jesus in Galilee. You will see your brothers and sisters. You will see your children. You will see your husband and wife a total change person if we are willing to go back to Galilee. So with that sentiment, let us bow our head and ask Jesus and ask the messenger to give us that courage to go back to Galilee.
now we will have the we will all rise we'll all stand and uh, we will have the renewal of our baptismal promises and then we will bless the holy water as well but before that um, you know if our if someone from our family whether our brothers or sisters if they become prominent people in society we feel so proud we feel so proud but you know in our christian family in our christian family we have the saints who are up there in heaven and therefore we should be very very proud of them not only being proud of them we need to imitate them so therefore uh, before we renew our baptismal promises we will sing this litany of all the saints i ask the choir to sing this litany for all the saints to feel proud that we have our brothers and sisters up there in heaven who are going to intercede for us so we'll take from the uh, holy week book page number 119 we will sing the litany of the saints after which we will bless the holy water we will be string we will sprinkle with the holy water after that Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us, Saint Michael. Pray for us, Holy Angels of God. Pray for us, Saint John the Baptist. Pray for us, Saint Joseph. Pray for us, Saint Peter and Saint Paul. Pray for us, Saint Andrew. Pray for us, Saint John. Pray for us, Saint Mary Magdalene. Pray for us. Saint Stephen, pray for us. Saint Ignatius, pray for us. Saint Lawrence, pray for us. Saint Perpetua and Saint Felicity, pray for us. Saint Agnes. Pray for us, Saint Gregory. Pray for us, Saint Augustine. Pray for us, Saint Athanasius. Pray for us, Saint Basil. Pray for us. Saint Martin, pray for us. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Francis and Saint Dominic, pray for us. Saint John Vianney, pray for us. Saint Catherine. Pray for us, Saint Teresa. Pray for us, all holy men and women. Pray for us, Lord, be merciful, Lord, save your people from all evil. 
Lord, save your people from every sin. Lord, save your people from everlasting death. Lord, save your people by your coming as a man. Lord, save your people by your death and rising to new life. Lord, save your people by your gift of the Holy Spirit. Lord, save your people. Be merciful to us sinners. Lord, hear our prayer. Give new life to those you have chosen by the grace of baptism. Lord, hear our prayer. By your grace, bless this water where your children will be reborn. Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Please turn your page to 121, page number 121. We shall have the blessing of the holy water. Brothers and sisters, let us ask the Lord our God to bless this water he has created. This water recalls to our mind our baptism. May the Lord renew us and give us faithful to the spirit we have all received. Lord our God, this night, your people watch in prayer. Be with us as we recall to mind how wonderfully you created us and how still more wonderfully you redeemed us. Bless this water. It makes seed to grow. It refreshes us and makes us clean. You made water an instrument of your loving kindness. To water, you set the people of Israel free. With it, you quench their thirsts in the desert. With water, the prophets announce a new covenant that you would make with man. Christ, through his baptism, made the water of the Jordan holy. Through it, you made us new as we were reborn in baptism. Let this water remind us of our baptism. Help us to share the joy of our brothers who are being baptized tonight in different parts of the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
There shall be showers of blessings. This is the promise of love. There shall be seasons refreshing, sent from the Savior above. Showers of blessing, showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops down as our falling, but for the showers we pray. Shall be showers of blessing, precious reviving again over the hills and the valleys. Sound of abundance of rain, showers of blessing, showers of blessing. Sea drops round us are falling, but for the showers we plead, there shall be showers of blessing. Send them upon us, O oh Lord. Grant to us now a refreshing. Come and now. shall be showers of blessing send them upon us O oh Lord grant to us now a refreshing come and now honor thy word showers of blessing showers of blessing we need mercy drops round us our shall be showers of blessing, precious reviving again, over the hills and the valleys, sound of abundance of rain, showers of blessing, showers of blessing we need, mercy drops round as our fall. We shall light our candle now. We will renew our baptismal promises. Please pass the light uh, on the top also. Dear friends, Christ on the cross won his final victory over the devil. He made pardon available to all and put at our disposal the means to defeat the devil at every temptation. Each Christian throughout this life must complete in himself the victory of Christ over the devil. When we were baptized, we promised to break with sin altogether, to have nothing to do with it again, to die to sin as we have heard in the second reading today. Just as a man who dies breaks altogether with the world around him. At baptism, we too rose to a new life in Christ sharing with him in his own spirit. We are sprinkled with the holy water to remind us of our baptism. So therefore, tonight, as we rejoice at the resurrection of Christ, 
and sharing it through his spirit in us. Let us renew once again what we promise on the day of our baptism. Do you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I, I do, do believe. believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? I, I do, do believe. believe. God, the all-powerful Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has given us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and forgiven all our sins. May he also keep us faithful to our Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now we shall have the prayer of the faithful, page 124. On this Easter night, when the Lord came out of the tomb, longing to share his life and his joy with all people, let us pray to his Father and our Father, and let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, our Bishop, priests, religious, and catechists, that the joy of the risen Lord be always with them in their work, of spreading the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this, our Christian community, that having risen from sin, our mutual love may lead us to mutual joy throughout life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each one of us, that we may complete our victory over sin, day after day, and rise definitely with Christ when our death when our death comes, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those baptized tonight throughout the church, that they may keep faithful to Christ throughout their life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all men who do not yet know Christ, that the Lord may make himself known to them in ways only his love can find, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us present at this Easter vigil, that having seen the risen Lord through faith on this happy night, we may see him glorious in heaven, where we shall be like unto him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Silently, we pray once again for our personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Father, your son Jesus has shared with us on this night his life and his joy. Help us to be faithful to him and gather us all in your glory where we shall experience the joy of calling you Father together with him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the offertory. day of joy on this day of hope we come to you in love oh lord on this day of joy on this day of hope we come to you
Dear friends, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Father, accept the offerings of your people. May the Eucharist bring closer to completion the work of saving us which you have begun. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do always, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, we praise you with greater joy than ever on this Easter night when Christ rose after having offered himself on the cross for us he is the true lamb who takes away our sins by dying he destroyed our death by rising he gave us back divine life we proclaim your glory together with the angels joining in their unending hymn of praise
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy their fathers' gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope and Victor Lindor, our Archbishop, all the religious men and women, and to all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. We remember today in a special way Mr. Gautam Joseph Kakoti. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins. of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. For only say, say the word that my, my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. It will take some time, but we will receive both species.
of the grace he rose again and as he stands in victory since curse has lost his grip on me for I am his and he is mine all with the precious of God in helpless pain, this gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save, till on that cross, as Jesus died, the Jesus. 
Jesus Christ, my living hope. Who could imagine so great a mercy? What heart could fathom such boundless ways? The God of ages stepped down from glory. And bear my shame. The cross has spoken. I am forgiven. The King of Kings calls me His own. Beautiful Savior, I'm yours forever. Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, you have nourished us with the Eucharist on this Easter night. Fill all of us with your spirit. Let him make us one in love and in peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you and your intentions, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Go in the peace of Christ, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. Okay, very good. Sit down. A few words. Yeah, um, I am so happy you know, that so, so many of you are here uh, this evening. So once again, from on behalf of Father Primus, our assistant director, myself, the brothers, two of them are here, and our boys who are here in the hostel, our staff, some of them are here. We wish all of you happy Easter. May the risen Lord uh, bring you peace, love, and above all, forgiveness, understanding with one another. This is our wish and prayer. So I stand here also on behalf of uh, the community to first and foremost thank God for this beautiful Holy Week program that we have here. It's by the grace of God that there are so many people who came to me and said, Father, I really experience healing. I experience grace during this Holy Week. So we thank God for the blessings that we received during this Holy Week and also throughout the Lenten uh, time. I thank uh, ba, not ba, Kong Bernadette and Monica, Sir Brian, uh, who is here, and uh, Marcellus Fankund. Uh, the, they sponsored uh, snacks for us. And you know, the standard of youth center, as I told you, is going up. Today, you will see the snack is in different form. It is fully packed, like Christmas time, you get that package, no? So this time, it is packed. So thank to this, thanks to these people who have provided us with the snacks. Uh, may God bless them and their intentions. Then the, I thank, especially, really from the bottom of my heart, I don't need to worry about anything else during this Holy Week. In fact, I have really time to spend time in prayer. We kept the Blessed Sacrament here. And early morning, even by 4 o'clock, I was here. No tension. Just to come and relax in front of the Blessed Sacrament. It's because I have this, we have, not me. The community have these young people. The UFC. Ba'edi, Ba'rodrik, Krishan, and all the others. If I tell the litany... We already sang the first part of the litany. I'm going to sing the litany now. So I think they deserve really our praise and our thanksgiving for them, for all the service they do. Let's give them a big round of applause. Yes, and dear friends, if you want to sing like them, if you want to pray like them, the youth center is always open. And on Wednesday, they gather here from 3.30 onwards till 5, 5.30. Sometimes I forget that they are praying for us, for me, for you. But they are there praying. So if you would like to join them praying, there is no admission fee. So please come. <laughs> no admission fee. You'd send that there is admission fee there, 150 rupees. But here, no admission fee. Please come and pray. You will really experience uh, love and uh, peace and joy in your heart. Uh, every Wednesday from T-shirt onwards, you will be here. And besides that, after, the, after every prayer service, they used to gather here in this room here. I don't know what they were doing here. So you can take part in that one also. Yeah. Um, if you can hear my voice so sweet, no? I'm not a singer, but my voice sounds very, very sweet, as if something has happened. <laughs> Thanks to Balit. Balit, you are there, yes. Thanks to Balit. He's the one who makes my voice so, so nice. It's nice, no? Yeah, it's nice. If this my <laughs> Okay, let's give Balit a big round of applause. If the smile is not there, my voice was really very, very rough. Like the voice of the dog after he get up in the morning. No, wow. Now it is very nice. Thanks to Balit. Okay. And then I have our immediate family members. Uh, St. Mary's Convent sisters. Uh, they are really our immediate family members. Anytime we need, no, we just call to Sister Superior and everything will be done. So we thank our uh, uh, sisters from St. Mary's, and we let, let us also give them a big round of applause. <laughs> then, besides uh, that family, we have so many families around here 
who are really attached to, I don't know, not to Father Makri, definitely, but to the youth center. They are so attached to the youth center. Why I'm saying this? Because even if I'm not here, they are always here in the center. So that means these families, they are attached to the youth center. I don't want to mention the names, no? Here, uh, but job. Kong Jimmy Mar here and the others who are really so much taking care of the youth center, even in our absence. So I thank you, dear uh, immediate family members, neighbors around. Then above all, I thank all of you, dear friends, for your love, for your support, for your prayers, and above all, for praying uh, for us, for Don Bosco Youth Center. I know Father Chilia, whom you are whom you, uh, he is so close to your heart, he is not there. His spirit lives on. And that's why many of you are here because of your love for him, for your love for the youth center. So continue to pray for us. And definitely, as I said, with the grace of God, we can do uh, much more to serve uh, the poor, to serve the needy. Last year alone, we have almost 10,000 young people coming to the center. Um, I don't know. Uh, so much of uh, help that we could do to them. It's because of your blessings, it's because of your prayers. Do continue to pray that young people who come here may not only gain knowledge in the training that we give here, but they may experience God, they may experience Jesus in their lives. So I will not prolong my anymore. I don't want to give second homily. The first homily was quite long. Yeah. So before, after the last hymn, all of you, please take uh, tea. I will not feel bad because I do not give. But those who give this thing, they will feel bad if you don't take. So all of you, you are supposed to take. If you don't take it here also, it is packaged. I told you, you know, very beautiful package. So you can take it home. So all of you are, you are supposed to take that one. So once again, uh, thank you to all of you. And uh, I wish you, what is that? Happy Easter. Not Merry Christmas. <laughs> I wish you Happy Easter. <laughs> May the risen Lord make you experience his resurrected person in the form of your brothers and sisters, in the form of your children, back in Galilee, in your home, not in the youth center. Go back to Galilee, go back home, and experience the risen Christ there. Thank you. The last hymn. And after the last hymn, the UFC will have a small meeting here. Don't run away.
Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.